Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you, Joe, for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, since I'm almost the last speaker, and I was really inspired by Srijit's presentation, you know, keeping everything simple. So I want to move uh, away from the slide deck a little bit and uh, probably start a conversation on perhaps wine. Right? So let's start with that because Jan has also inspired me to say how real life applications are going to come in and technology is going to disrupt them in the manufacturing space. So let's assume that all of you uh, have bought some very expensive wine and champagne. How can you ascertain that it is a genuine bottle that you've picked up? Right? So this is kind of a challenge that is existing in today's market. It could be wine, it could be a pair of shoes, a pair of sneakers that you pick up. It could be a Nike, an Adidas, you picked it up in Delhi and you are, you are worried that it could be a counterfeit one. Right? So here comes technology where we are building uh, products and applications using NFC. Anybody who has got the app that has been made from the manufacturer, it can instantly uh, validate that this particular product is authentic, it is genuine, you have the product on your hand and you are confident that the money that you have paid is worth every dime. So with that uh, start of a case study that I wanted to just start um, my conversation with. Uh, so my name is Mohan and my name, uh, I run a company called Cash Technologies. We are in the uh, digital transformation space for uh, small and mid-sized companies uh, from across the globe. We have customers from Australia, UK, Canada, US, uh, you name it, we have a bunch of them. So, and, and this is a cliche term, right? We've been talking about this over the last couple of days. Digital transformation is like, is, is almost like a jargon being thrown at you almost every day, right? So each one of them are defining digital transformation in various different ways, right? So somebody says, uh, the use of digital technologies to enable major business improvements. So how do you quantify each of this and what exactly is uh, digital transformation? How is it measurable, tangible to the ultimate end user in the, uh, in the manufacturing uh, space, right? <clears throat> this, uh, it's not clicking, this, okay. So where, that's the cliche term that we use when uh, technologies like Murphy's Law, sometimes you are so dependent on them that it won't work when you need it the most. So anyway, so uh, again taking cue from Srijit that I wanted to, just didn't want to throw numbers at you and tell you what's happening in the manufacturing space. So there is uh, there's a reduction of personnel in 2023, by end of 2023 as per IDC reports, every manufacturing facility is going to go through a sea wave of transformation and there's going to be almost 30% uh, re reduction in on-site personnel. What does this mean? Is that not just that the, uh, the people are going to be displaced, it is a lot got to do with all the digital uh, technologies that is going to come into these factories. Uh, I think it was Andy Gru who said a uh, long, long time ago that every system, every device that can communicate will compute and every computing device will also communicate. So with this in mind, uh, each of these uh, tools and technologies that are being used in manufacturing domain today is all going to be interconnected. It is uh, by end of 2024, as per IDC reports, we have 40% uh, of uh, manufacturing systems, manufacturing organizations is going to share data in real time to all the stakeholders. It could be their customers, it could be their uh, suppliers, uh, it could also be the end consumer. You can exactly know when your iPhone is going to be in production. Your particular iPhone, not just a ra random iPhone. You book your phone, you can say these are customized, uh, uh, this is under so-and-so production. So that is the kind of uh, granular information that you can get. Uh, and, and this is all happening because of digital transformation in the uh, manufacturing space. And uh, so each of this today, for example, Siemens, I, I heard them uh, earlier during our presentation. Siemens was once a medical manufacturing or a medical you know, manufacturing company. Today, they have transformed themselves into a large software company and, and uh, what they do, other uh, products and services are more an ancillary uh, to the uh, software as a core. So everything is about transformation. Uh, I hope my slide deck will come up, but... Uh, so anyway, let me keep you engaged with uh, some more tidbits about uh, the four quadrants of, uh, of a maturity model in the digital transformation, right? So we have the beginners who are 
uh, you know, many, many small industries and small manufacturing companies here in India, in, in uh, Pinya, you might see that they're still using old lathe machines. There is a lot of transformation. There's a lot of opportunities uh, to go and digitize them, to go and give them meaningful insights. Uh, uh, so they, they are probably still at the uh, stage of a beginner level. Then we have got the conservatives where the management knows that they want some bit of digitization, but they don't know how much of what needs to be coming in. It is sometimes an overkill of technology. Like, you know, a decade ago, there was a lot of ERP implementation. Everybody was jumping onto the bandwagon and saying that, oh, we are going to do ERP. But the struggle that many of these companies have had is in the last mile implementation. The last mile is where each of the stakeholder know exactly what is the need of the R and how the data is going to impact the real time decision making, right? Then we have the fashionistas who will throw a lot of money at the problem, but then uh, they are not able to make the meaningful use of that data, or that, uh, that particular digital transformation. And last, I call them, is the digiratis, uh, not the emiratis, the digiratis, where uh, there is a lot of meaningful insights, there's a lot of data, all of them are connected technologies, and they're able to make uh, meaningful use of the digital transformation. Right, so um, while they bring up the slide, so, uh, <laughs> Hope it's not from me. <laughs> Sorry from our side. Yeah, that no, no, should that's not happen. These Honestly. things happen. We are used, yeah. so used to it. And that's where we come in, right? We are all technology evangelists. We bring in, we say, you know, like Murphy's Law, anything that can fail, can fail, and will. All right. I think, so most of it that I wanted to speak about, uh, I've kind of run it down. So these are the data points that I took from IDC. Uh, just to give you some insights about how the manufacturing industry is transforming itself, what kind of, uh, you know, those who, uh, like I, I call another quote that the illiterate of the 21st century is not those who cannot write or uh, read. It is those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. And the manufacturing industry is really at the, at the cusp of things where they're trying to uh, implement a lot of digital innovation and bring in... Uh, so we spoke about Siemens some time ago. So uh, Siemens is not an industrial powerhouse. Now it is, it's a software company connecting, connecting its industrial assets in the cloud space. Right? So, and, and again, Uber was another classic cliched example. Many of us know about how Uber transformed the transportation industry. They have an employee base of far more. I mean, they're all contractors, but they, they own zero assets. And these kind of transformations are waiting to happen in the manufacturing industry as well. So everybody knows about uh, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Now, uh, soon manufacturing is going to adapt digital transformation and we are going to bring in something called as uh, your product as a service. So everything is going to be uh, product as a service. So we have a uh, lot of things that are getting uh, a, a big buzzword in the manufacturing space is there is simulation, there is IoT, cybersecurity. So imagine all the devices that are interconnected and somebody is just hacking in remotely and stopping a production line. So, uh, so the emphasis on, uh, on using the right technology, the blended right technology at the right time for the right reason is the right way, and that to me is digital transformation. So as I said, digital transformation is a very, very cliche term. Each one of them use it uh, very uh, loosely. So, and, and this, again, is a digital transformation model for the manufacturing industry. It's all about the customer engagement, the buying experience, the owning experience. It's not just that some uh, you know, manufacturing facility somewhere in Pune is making a nut or a bolt and they just dump it to the customer. It's about the, it, it's about the complete life cycle of that bolt and how is it making a transformation in the end product. In the connected world, everything can be tracked. You can see inside your Mercedes-Benz, for example, which nut and bolt is actually failed during that Cyrus, uh, the recent tragedy that we have had. In the future, you can know what was the actual failure element and at what points, at what threshold levels these systems are failing, and that's where we come in. We are able to bring in uh, a huge amount of meaningful insights and meaningful data. So uh, we are in all the spaces. We build uh, cloud. We build uh, AIML. We are in the 5G and edge computing. And that's, in a nutshell, about everything that we do. I already spoke to you about these two counterfeit detections uh, in the uh, distillery and uh, winery industry. So that's something that we do. For, for very expensive bottles, there are NFCs that we enable them. And that's about it. Thank you, Jan. And thank you, Jose. I hope. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Mohan, and I know technology is sometimes tricky, and especially while you're presenting, 
So uh, Mohan, thanks for your energy and you kept on doing it. Yeah, give him a hand, give him a hand for that. Besides managing digital transformation, which is hard stuff, we all know, uh, he was managing the digital experience of presentation. So thanks again, Mohan.